Hi everyone, what's up? Josh here with the accessories that are gonna help you brew better espresso using your Breville coffee machine. Now, as an example, we have here the widely popular Breville Barista Express. However, all of these accessories that you see here today are compatible with all Breville coffee machines. I'm talking the Breville Duo Temp Pro, the Breville Infuser, the Bambino Plus, and the Barista Pro. And with all of these machines, they're incorporated under the group head size that's referred to as either 53.3 millimeters or 54 millimeters to make it simpler. Though there is also the Breville Barista Pro dual boiler and the flagship Breville Oracle that are 58 millimeter group heads. However, all accessories are available for them as well. I will right now state though that there are three steps that you can take to brew better coffee without needing any of these accessories. And they are number one, understanding the steps to brew good espresso. And we have a full tutorial that you can find in the top hand corner, which will help you begin your journey with that. Number two, using filtered water in the machine and using high quality coffee beans. Whether that's roasted fresh coffee bought from your local roastery or grinding fresh coffee right before you brew, this will impact the quality of your end result in the cup. And number three, maintaining a clean machine. So ensuring that the group head gets scrubbed and those back flushes are followed each time you use your machine. As with a dirty machine, you are likely to taste it in the final product. So keep your machines clean. Now, in terms of accessories, we're gonna begin at that logical start of making a coffee and then proceed through checking out the accessories as we go along. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video and like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps our channel grow. Let's get into today's video. First stop, porter filters. Now, naturally, this is not a must upgrade, but more of an aesthetic approach to brewing coffee. Of course, unless you wanna begin using a bottomless porter filter. Normcore Wares has both spouted and naked options available. These have ergonomic aluminum handles, complete with stainless steel filter holders and filter baskets included. And whether it's the precise splitting spouts that are machined to allow an even thick flow of espresso during that pour, or the bottomless porter filter, which allows that unobstructed view of your espresso extraction live, this being a great way to identify where you can improve on the quality of the espresso you produce. Now placed side by side and comparing it to the default Breville Porter Filter, there are those little things that don't give the default one such a great feel when using it, such as the plastics used either in the handle or inside the filter holder itself, and the way the espresso falls down when brewing, whereas the Normcore Porter Filter it is a premium feel, and this definitely transfers over to the pleasure of brewing espresso daily. However, there is one thing better than picking up one of these awesome porter filters, and that is getting yourself a high quality filter basket. And Passato has you covered here, with high performance filter baskets designed to work perfectly with Breville's 54 millimeter group heads. Now, to the naked eye, it is difficult to discern much difference between the baskets. However, these Passato baskets have been engineered with the ultimate precision and careful thought into details you wouldn't believe make a difference, like the 49 millimeter diameter of perforated area below the basket, which consists of 715 0.3 millimeter holes that are consistently spaced and distributed amongst the full diameter of the basket. And these are also a deeper basket with a larger capacity than the regular Breville basket. And that means you can be brewing richer, more commercial style espresso with them. And they're basically unmatched in quality for filter baskets compatible with Breville coffee machines. However, what does all this mean to the quality of the coffee you can produce? The best analogy I could quickly come up with here is, think of the shower head in your bathroom. Now, you've got water passing through tiny perforated holes. I don't know about you, but it's the shower head with that largest diameter and the most unblocked or unobstructed holes that makes for the most enjoyable shower. It's where I do a lot of my thinking too. And for filter baskets, it's that ease and the consistency of which coffee can escape the filter basket or pass through the filter basket that will impact your coffee extraction. So personally, I would be placing an espresso basket high on the list of accessories to brew a better cup of coffee with using a Breville coffee machine. However, next up, we're gonna take a look at distributing the coffee in your filter basket. 
Now prior to tamping, coffee either comes out of the built-in grinder from your Breville machine or a standalone grinder, and it can be a little bit clumpy or have an unevenness to the density of that ground coffee in the basket. And there are three tools that we can use to improve the consistency of that ground coffee prior to tamping it. First, we have a WDT tool, then a needle distributor, and then following that, we can use a bevel distributor. The WDT tool, this is a universally compatible tool and it can be used with the default Breville dosing ring which you will keep on after grinding or grab yourself a Normcore Breville compatible dosing ring and then with that WDT tool we're just going to be raking those grounds in a circular motion all the way down and moving up and this is going to have the most impact on the consistency of that bed of coffee prior to tamping and will improve the quality of your extractions as well. Alternatively, you have a needle distributor. This is like a WDT tool, which consists of small 0.3 millimeter needles. However, this is a placement tool that you can simply spin in position on the porta filter. It has slightly less effectiveness than using a manual WDT tool, though is much more convenient for similar results and you don't need a dosing ring. And then there's the distributor tool, either used in conjunction with a needle or a WDT tool, or on its own. This relies on the raised edge of the tool to smooth out the surface of the bed of coffee prior to tamping upon it. And it does work really well there, however it's much less effective at impacting the whole bed of coffee. I do however love the fact that Normcore produce a tool that includes the distributor and a combo set with a spring-loaded tamper. So, if you were just looking for one tool, then the combo set would be it. If you were looking for the best combinations, it would be the WDT tool with the distributor or our next accessory, the Normcore spring-loaded tamper. The Normcore spring-loaded tamper really is the ultimate for consistency in your coffee preparation. Whereas the default Breville tamper, this is slightly smaller in its diameter than is ideal for tamping inside a filter basket. I find it quite unergonomic and it is reliant on good technique to tamp perfectly every time. Whereas the Normcore tamper, this has a leveling edge to it and this ensures that your tamp is level all the way down and it has a spring-loaded handle as well so you know how much pressure to add each and every time. And it really is a no-brainer game changer. This tamper, along with a good filter basket, would be in my top three recommendations for espresso machine accessories. And Breville really is no exception here. Pretty much every coffee machine manufacturer supplies less than ideal quality filter baskets and tampers with their machines. So I would just make sure that I have a good tamper and filter basket in my shopping list with a new machine. Next though, let's check out puck screens. Now more and more as time goes by, the jury seems to be convinced that puck screens do not really help you brew a better coffee per se. Or at least, they don't show any identifiable increase to the quality of the extraction from your espresso. What I can say though from using one of these metal woven fabric discs daily, is that they make cleaning your espresso machine so much easier. You place one on top of your tamped coffee prior to brewing, and it may assist in the distribution of water across your bed of coffee. However, in removing that porter filter at the end of brewing, any buildup of coffee grounds found on the shower screen is almost non-existent versus when brewing without a puck screen. So if you know you're someone who regularly forgets to clean your machine, then this puck screen might just be your best friend. And lastly, one that Breville machine owners swear by, it doesn't improve the quality of the coffee, but it does greatly improve the workflow. It's a snap-on steam lever to the Breville Express and the Breville Barista Pro. You simply need to adjust it to tighten it onto the current steam lever, and then it's gonna stay in place and make for a much easier to grab lever to turn and control that steam whilst you're heating your milk up. And it is a revelation to some, as that lever is a little bit sticky on the best of days, and it definitely makes it into my top three list based solely on its popularity. Now, if you're wanting to avoid choice overload, which I would totally understand, I highly recommend getting a great tamper as your first upgrade. Then look at getting a better filter basket, followed by a porter filter to go along with that. 
and then any further accessories that really speak to you for value and you would also be happy to incorporate in your coffee making experience. There are special mentions to this list that weren't discussed so deeply, and they were the Normcore dosing ring. This is ideal for transferring grounds or WD teeing with, and then the shot mirror, which is great for watching those bottomless portafilter extractions without having to crayon your neck. And that's all the accessories that are mostly available by Normcore wares and compatible with all Breville coffee machines, whether it's a 54 mm one or a 58 mm group head. So if you have any further questions on any one of these products, add it into the comments section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.